Welcome to Ruby Thursday's Better Than Airbnb course. This is Unit 2, Lesson 5, Authorization with Pundit, Part 2, Add Profile Policies. I'm your host, Melissa Wanish. Just a review of what we are working on. It is a developer chore to ensure the correct member is editing his or her own profile. Editing, accessing, all of that jazz with Pundit. First up, we will add the profile policy file. If you remember from the last lesson, our spec was failing because we did not have a profile policy. So let's put just that in so that we can get a better look at our spec output. So let's put this in and then we will run the spec. In our text editor, we'll go to policies and then we'll make a new file for our profile policy. So let's save that right away as profilepolicy.rb. And now we'll include just a little bit just to get us started. So let's run that spec so that it doesn't come up with that error message for us. Instead, a usual R spec output of why R specs are failing. So let's take a look. We'll scroll up and yeah, so it's expecting it not to grant, but it does. Or it expects to grant and it doesn't. Next, we're going to edit the application policy to only include what we're going to be using for this particular app. And I'll show you there's a, some extra stuff that we're not gonna use yet anyway. And we're gonna make it particular to us. For example, we're going to have the class application policy and then the ATTR reader will go to current member and not current user because we're using member and not user. So we'll initialize the current member and the record. So opening up that application policy, we see that there's also this section called scope. That's very useful if you're going to have a list and different members have different accesses to that. You know, maybe an admin sees more than a regular member. We're not gonna put that in quite yet, so we're gonna just copy all of this, or select all of this, and then paste in just the simple stuff that we need right now. We don't need everything yet. Now we need to edit our application controller. Now Pundit does use the method current user from device, but as I've said, we're using current member. We just need to let Pundit know, hey, current member means current user. Then what happens when they are not allowed to see that particular page? We need to rescue that because otherwise they're gonna get a 500 page. So we're gonna rescue from Pundit not authorized error with member not authorized. So in a private method, we'll say, hey, let's show them a message saying you were not authorized to perform this action and redirect to where they were or to the root path. This is very similar to what's on the documentation from Pundit. I just changed user to member to be more consistent with our app. Opening up our application controller and controllers, application controller, we will just paste in that first bit about the alias method for current user to be current member. And now we'll include the rescue method to handle the case where they're not allowed. Great, now we have set up all of the basic settings for Pundit. Now let's get to the particular settings of profile policy. Profile policy will inherit from the application policy. So these methods are just for the profile. We're going to make sure that for index, show, and new, and create, we just need to make sure that it's a member, that they're signed in as a member. Then for update, edit, and destroy, we're saying, okay, let's make sure they're a member and that that member's profile matches the record that Pundit is receiving. Let's head back to our profile policy and now include the full extent of the policy. So we'll put, paste in both of those slides and save. Let's run our spec again and see where we are now that we've included the profile policy. And looking pretty good, except we have an error that the bio cannot be blank. So that's not actually a problem with our policy, it's a problem with our spec. Sometimes that happens, sometimes it's actually the spec. So let's go ahead and add in that when we create that profile, we will also include a bio. So we have to open back up our profile spec and scroll on down to the last scenario and paste in so that we have a bio so that it should pass. Let's 
go ahead and run the spec again. And this time it's all green. Yay! The final step to including Pundit in your application is to put it into your controller. So it actually calls the methods that Pundit provides. So we are first going to add a devise method to make sure that our member is logged in. That's devise to do. So we'll say before action authenticate member because if they're not even logged in, they shouldn't have access. Then we're gonna add the Pundit method to each action. So it'll authorize at profile for each of these actions. And be sure to put it in the correct place. I'll show you where to put it. Open up your controller for profiles. And now we'll, at the very top, we'll include the method from device before action authenticate member. And then for each of these actions, so index, you wanna put it at the top, authorize at profile, and then show you include it there. New, you wanna make sure to put it after profile because profile has not been set by the R before action. It's set right there. So then edit is, so we can put it right there. And create, again, after profile has been declared. And then update up at the top. And also destroy at the top to make sure that the member is authorized. That concludes Unit 2 of Better Than Airbnb, presented by Ruby Thursday. Thanks so much for watching. I'm excited to announce that I have indeed passed the 500 mark on my YouTube subscriber list. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click on that big red button right there to do so. You get the videos just a little bit before everyone else. If you are not already on my mailing list, be sure to head over to rubythursday.com to sign up. You get a little bit more tidbits in the newsletter. That's how I divide it up. Thanks again so much for watching. Have a great day and see you soon.